Today I want to make a French cleat clamp rack for all the different types of clamps that I have. I've got five different styles of clamps and I want to make a, an individual bracket design that will accommodate all five of those. And that will allow me to put the clamps pretty much wherever I want on the rack and it will also allow a little bit of future proofing. That way I have something that will most likely uh, fit for the future clamps that I may or may not get. So this is the design that I came up with to accommodate all of the clamps that I have. All of my bar clamps will fit inside this center slot, which is a 3 8 of an inch width. And to accommodate my largest clamps, which are the Bessie K-Body clamps, uh, the slot needs to be 6 inches from the front of the bracket. This accommodates the Bessie K-Body clamps that I have, the Harbor Freight clamps that I'm using right here to hold this piece in, and also any of my quick clamps, like the um, uh, Irwin quick clamps that I have, and also some of the Craig bar clamps that I have. And other than that, this slot right here is a widened slot at 7 eighths of an inch in width, and this will accommodate all of my half inch pipe clamps. Uh, if you have 3 quarter inch pipe clamps, this slot will just need to be a little bit bigger. And from the front of this slot to the front of the, or the end of the slot to the front of the bracket needs to be 2 and 1 quarters of an inch. And my total spacing in between edges of the bracket uh, needs to be two and one eighth of an inch in width to accommodate the larger uh, K-body bases. I don't really care how this clamp rack looks so I'm going to just cobble together as much scrap wood that I have in my shop and this particular piece of plywood was the old uh, three-quarter inch plywood top from my previous assembly slash work table. I want each individual slot to have a total working area of two and one eighth of an inch so I came in half of that distance for the first slot from the edge of the board and then from there I can measure over two and one eighth of an inch and find the center point of all of the remaining slots on the first board. The chuck on my drill press kept falling out last night and I was getting really frustrated so I just said forget it I'll pick up on it tomorrow. So it's the next day and I'm going to finish out all of the holes with a handheld drill. I have a 7 eighths of an inch Forstner bit set so that it will drill through about three and a half layers of three quarter inch plywood. And I've got four here, that way it won't blow through and onto the, uh, my work surface itself. And I've actually got an extra piece, so there's gonna be five pieces total. So in order to drill through every single one of these, I'm gonna take uh, the top piece off and bring the bottom piece to the second layer, stack the fresh piece on top of that, clamp it back together, and then I can use my top holes as a template to drill through the two layers below that. At that point we'll have five layers stacked high and then for the three-eighths of an inch holes I'm going to use one of these electrician's build drill bits for a three-eighths of an inch hole through every single one of the plies at the same time. Thank <laughs> you. 
The overall size of this clamp rack was determined by the, the size of the materials that I was trying to get rid of. So however long that piece of plywood was, that's how long the clamp rack was going to be. And I've just got way too much stuff going on here. So I'm going to eliminate one of these completely and still use the same amount of space as I was on, in, intending on using. And even at this, it's still more clamp rack than I think I'll ever need, but it's a little bit more of a manageable size. So I'm just gonna go ahead with this and see how it all works out. This is definitely a function over fashion kind of project. I really don't care how this thing looks. As a matter of fact, when you get up close to it, it's actually pretty ugly. Most of my cuts aren't exactly perfect and the materials that I use to begin with are really beat up. And as long as it does a job, that's good enough for me. So the way I have this right now, most of the larger clamps are taking up duplicate space or even more so than that. And that's because I've got more space than what I actually need right now. If the need arises to use that space, I could always move them down on the rack, exposing the holders above. Uh, thanks for watching, folks, and have a great day.